Hello, my name is Corey Toombs, and I'm going to play Lurson for RPG Maker VX Ace. I think the first thing I noticed was the window dimension looks a little odd. I don't think I've ever seen a window dimension like this. Starts at a cliff, raining, RTP, scrolling the screen, introduction. It's like a custom sprite. The window size, I think that's the normal window size, but it's hard to tell because of, the, of what he's done to the... Oh, I can move? Okay. That's fast. I'm a question mark person. Manslayer with skills of bite. Unleashes his anger, huh? Will not let himself die. Okay. Um, what do I do now? Where do I go? Did I miss something? Pressing button. What am I supposed to do? Well, what was that? Maybe I wasn't paying attention to something. So, oh, you can jump down. I don't know if it, the game told you that you could do that. The game tell. Maybe I'll have to watch the video and see if the game actually said that you could do that. So you can't. You can. All, so how far can you jump? Can you climb? No, you can only jump. Default. Okay. I'm gonna open it anyways. Um. Hmm. I'm certainly getting a lot of gold. Uh, how do you get that one? If you jump down, you can jump down twice. Oh, there you go. Maybe things are really expensive in this game. Oh, there's no saving. Okay. Jump over the rock now. Oh, it looks like we can go down here. No. We stand there. This is like a platforming slash puzzle sort of game, it looks like. Why can't you jump down this one? Sometimes you can jump and sometimes you can't. So I don't know if the rules are very 
always like 100% the same all the time. Down there, there looks like there's a cliff down here. Go up here. I'm gonna jump down here. No, there, there, I don't think there's any jumping allowed in this map. Run faster though, so try to figure out how to get over here. <sighs> Just, I don't know why you do it, Gold. Oh, so very interesting. Puzzle game. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Down here. This face is, um, uh, it's on a white background. Oh, both the faces are on a white background. You you can make that transparent. So something's wrong with his leg, but he can still walk faster. So am I supposed to go in that cave? Figure the way back up there.
You have rocks on the ground and rocks on the roof. Why that guy's in the cave? It's interesting ground. I don't know if it's all RTP or some things might be recolored. So you need to talk to this guy before you can go in the cave, huh? So well, where am I supposed to go? Oh, over here maybe. Um, can only save in uh, circles and get money that does I don't know what the money will do hmm A sparkle here. So I mean I can jump over here. Wow. The places he can jump and cannot jump. Okay, so all. The sprites and the faces are really interesting. And the RTP I guess isn't that bad. It's all cliffs. It's an interesting so far. Understand why he can't just save whatever he wants. Can't go inside houses. Mm. I don't have enough money. He has plenty of money. Side view battle with no battle back. Basic stuff. So, do a basic attack and see what it looks like.
So there is a combat system here. Well, he went this way, but I can also go out. Can't go that way? It doesn't even tell me that, it just automatically turns me back. Those get more interesting, but the jumping is like a little inconsistent as to um, where you're allowed to jump and not jump. Mm -mm. Use 35 to. Uh, not, no, only money that I'm not willing to pay the guy $100 out of the $100,000 I have. Well, well, we'll not let himself die, or we'll just heal himself. Like, I could have assumed a lot of things from that skill. Like, oh, he's a skill. Like, in Final Fantasy, you have like life three, and you cast on your alive characters. And then when they die, they come back to life. There's actually one boss that you can only beat doing that. <laughs> oh, this guy's gonna let me save. I don't know. Yeah, maybe the circle auto heals. The game was a very little story, it's actually um, interesting to play. I mean, it doesn't do a lot, I'm just chasing these guys and fighting them. Why is there MP? Well, now I can just use my kick ass skill. He's going to count all the guys he kills. I don't know if I'm supposed to go up or over here. I don't know if I'm supposed to go over here please. Try to... Can you jump back over? Oh, I guess I don't want to go over there. You can't jump back over it.
So green is for TP and blue is for MP. There's no indication of that because it's all on the same menu and there's no no initials beside what the cost is. Player touch. I could jump over there, but I don't know if I can jump back. more worthwhile to try to get your TP built up to 35. Getting your TP to 35 is good. Healing is first or last? Oh, healing is first. That was a bit difficult.
it does face quite a few enemies, it is a little ridiculous sometimes. David goes all out. I don't know what that will do. Like, that skill's not even remotely fair, but I guess lighting that many groups of enemies up isn't really that fair either, so, yeah. This building is just to beat the guy, huh? Oh, there's a vine here. Huh? How did I... Hmm? Am I just gonna stand here now? Interesting. Almost thought I'd, I'd have to <laughs> go inside and fight 100 enemies or something. I wonder if that bird can knock you off or something. That would be interesting. What's the bird do? You know what I'm saying? Okay. Interesting, he doesn't kill everyone in a battle. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Let him fall. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty awesome. Okay, um, 
I think I'm going to call that an end to my Let's Try Lursen playthrough here. What are my final thoughts? I, I wasn't expecting this from a game. It's, it, it has custom graphics, it uses RTP, but it, it still managed to be fun. Like, I don't know what exactly was fun about it. Don't know how to put it into words. You know, it's simple puzzles, platforming. There's some humor, definite humor. But I think this, this game could go somewhere. And I think for some people, this definitely is worth playing. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day. Bye-bye.